With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question says using step deviation method, find the mean of the following frequency distribution. So we are given this frequency distribution, we have to use the step deviation method for finding the mean of the following uh, frequency distribution. So for doing this, now in a step deviation method, we assume two things. We uh, assume a, we assume and assume, we uh, take an assumed mean that is equals to a. So uh, in our case, what I am going to do is, I will take the uh, value that is very closest to the center. So if you see, so 50, I will take uh, 60 as the value. So I will take 60 as the uh, uh, assumed mean because I think that will be the closest to the mean and we need to take the class enter class width so basically uh, here no, they are not given in the values of class their uh, specific values are given so I will take the difference between the two and it is denoted by h that is equals to 20 now we will draw this or write these values so x I will write the values of x as xi so for xi I have so here I have six values so take this line a little longer so six values similarly I will draw a line because I need to find uh, so uh, I need to find uh, so many values uh, values here so I will write the values of xi here so 10 30 50 70 90 and 110 these are the values now we will uh, find the value of uh, write the values of fi 135 187 240 273 124 and 151 so these are the values of fi now what i am going to do is now first of all i will calculate the value of first of all i will calculate the value of di so in our case that is di it is uh, it is xi minus that is our assumed mean that is the value of x minus our assumed mean so what you can say is from here so assume minimum is 60 and 60 my, uh, so 10 minus 60 will be equals to minus 50 so this is our value similarly we will do it for the other value so 30 minus 60 minus 30 50 minus 60 is minus 10 70 minus 60 is 10 90 minus 60 is 30 and 110 minus 60 is 50 so you see these are the values now we need to find now what you do is you can see that these values can all again be reduced and these can be I will reduce them using this value using the class width value so next what I have is ui that is given by di by h sorry not a h so this is given by h so what I will have is so 50 divided by 20 is minus 2.5 Similarly, this will become minus 1.5. This will come out to be minus 0 0.5. This will come out to be 0 0.5, uh, 1.5 and 2.5. These are the values of ui. Now, what I am going to do is, I will, uh, now I will find the values of, now what I will find is, now I will find fi, fi ui. So, fi ui and fi ui will be this multi, uh, values of fi multiplied by ui. So, the respective values are, so I, have, uh, so I will calculate them. This will come out to be 337.5. Uh, this will uh, this will come out to be minus 280.5. This will come out to be minus 120. This will come out to be 136.5. 124 into 1 1.5. This will come out to be 186. And the last 151 into 2.5 will come out to be 377.5. Now we need to calculate. So we, need, we will calculate two more things. That is the summation fi, summation of fi and summation of fi ui. So when we calculate the summation of fi, it comes out to be 1110. And the summation of fi, this will come out to be minus of 38 when you calculate. Now the mean or the formula of mean using step deviation method mean x bar is given by the assumed mean plus multiplied by the class interval that is h into summation of fi ui divided by summation of fi 
this is the formula where this is the formula to calculate the mean when we are using a uh, step deviation method so the value of a we assume to be 60 you can see here we assume a to be 60 and h to be 20 so plus 20 multiplied by this is fi ui is minus 38 so minus 38 divided by summation fi that is 1110 so 1110 so this is uh, 38 sir so this is 38 so now what I'll do this zero and this zero gets cancelled out so what I'm left with is 60 plus or actually minus because this uh, minus 38 this will come out so what I left is minus now 38 into 2 is 76 divided by 111 so when we divide this this will so uh, when we multiply this this the value will come out to be 59.315 or we can say that is approximately equals to that is approximately equals to 59.32 this 59.32 is the mean of the given frequency distribution so the answer is 59.32 for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today